In this little video, I want to discuss the third of the spinothalamic pathways, and this one is a little bit more simple uh, than the other ones discussed. And this one deals mostly with temperature uh, on the right side of your body. So it's where we begin on the right side, temperature coming in. And just like with all the other sensory things, we come into the spinal nerve, and we come into the dorsal root ganglion. And here we will find uh, cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglia, and I can draw that in. And we come in on the anterior side, we enter into the, well, the posterior side, here to the posterior gray horn. And this is where I'm going to draw the arrow, and we'll pick up on it with the second order neurons, as they will cross over from the anterior gray commissure, and it will go out to this pathway. Now, as it leaves, we get an idea that the lateral spinothalamic pathway sits here just at the lateral gray horn. So we want to come off of the lateral gray horn into the lateral spinothalamic pathway, and that's the one we're going to discuss here, the third lateral spinothalamic pathway. And we will go all the way up and cross over here. And we hit the, what you guys may be referring to as the VPN, uh, this part of the, uh, of the thalamus. And once we stop here, our third order come out from the thalamus out to the cortex, depending on what part of the body we are feeling this uh, temperature response from, from our fingers, our toes, our stomachs, whatever, but these particular pathways, you'll note that, that pretty much all, the last two of them all cross over from the, uh, uh, from the anterior gray commissure into the opposite side as they were run contralateral. And only one of these, the very first one we mentioned was a little bit, was ipsilateral. And I didn't go into much detail in those videos, but you can see this one is contralateral, opposite side, ipsilateral on the same side. And this concludes the video on the uh, lateral spinothalamic tract uh, or spinothalamic pathway as we integrate from uh, heat, temperature, uh, from the particular right side of our body. And these pathways uh, can become interrupted. And we mentioned that a failure to actually detect these sensations on different parts of our bodies will show us a problem with this pathway in that particular area of the spinal cord or a particular part of the brain. And this can be indicative of any kind of neural problems, um, plays a role in referred pain that we'll talk about in lecture. But as that goes there, we hope you find these videos helpful. And this concludes the lateral spinothalamic pathway. The remainder of the pathway that we will discuss in the last video will be spinocellular, which is a far simpler pathway, which will detect on both sides of the body. But this concludes my video on spinothalamic pathways, and you should be able to find these uh, helpful. Draw them out and uh, to understand where they cross, what they do, and what they actually do send, what kinds of stuff, information do they process. Thank you.